and the traveling has begun. I am in Dunhuang right now. Dunhuang is located about 12 hours by train northwest of Lanzhou. And in the ancient times, it marked the frontier of China uh, on the Silk Road. It marked the end of China's military authority and all of that. Uh, this was the frontier. And one of the places that you go now in Dunhuang to kind of do a little bit of sightseeing is Ming Chashan and the, what is it, Yueyachuan and the Crescent Lake and the Echoing Sand Mountain. Uh, these are two of the biggest attractions here and the uh, Yueyachuan and the, the Crescent Lake was an, it's, it was and is a natural oasis uh, for those travelers and uh, that's where we are right now. We are at that place and uh, it's very, very close to the, the city. It's uh, five kilometers or so. You can just take a bus for one yuan and get here. And maybe it doesn't look so big here, but I can guarantee you like it just goes that way and it goes that way. It's, it's huge. I've been on some sand dunes uh, in the USA, but nothing like this. I'm really excited to show you guys what's at the top. When you first arrive in this place, it's just a normal Chinese scenic area. There's a cheesy entrance gate, and when you get closer to the dunes, there's some calligraphy on a rock, all the normal stuff. But when you actually walk out into the desert, walk out into the midst of the sand dunes, that's when things start to get interesting. You climb higher and higher, and you start to see the oasis, what Dunhuang is famous for, or one of them anyway. And you can really start to feel the desert beauty and feel the sun and feel the wind especially the wind makes your hair just go crazy and it never stops and you're trying to have a quiet moment alone to yourself because there's not that many people and then oh no what happens there's no escape from the wind actually it is a pretty challenging climb because you're just Climbing and climbing and climbing. It's not a normal mountain. It's just sand. Oh, it was really tough. But if you keep going and keep going, you'll get to the top. Although I've been living in the high desert environment of Lanzhou for about three years and I've seen my share of desert in China and in the USA, I'd not seen it on quite this scale before and I've never been on a, the top of a sand dune of this height and especially throwing in the oasis factor and seeing the abrupt changes in landscape. It's quite a surreal and interesting and remarkable experience. So I just dug my feet in and despite the crazy wind just tried to enjoy myself and spend a little time up there soaking in the moment until unfortunately it's time to go down. So we'll see how this goes. Holy crap! Holy crap! definition of an oasis and that's exactly what it is it is an oasis it's very interesting and kind of surreal to see how the desert just ends at the shores of this lake you now everything is green right there and on all sides is the desert on all sides there are these sand dunes and what I was saying in this video but you can't hear anything because of course the wind is that this place is profoundly, profoundly quiet. It's so quiet. The only thing that you can hear 
is the of course the inescapable wind and the sand that comes along with it and you can hear the water and the grass blowing and the sand kind of blowing around and doing its thing but that's really all that you can hear there are no cars and no planes I don't hear any I don't just don't hear anything else and that was a very welcome change and a very different thing from what I'm used to in my everyday life in Lanzhou. As I was standing on the side of this lake, or as I was walking around this temple or whatever the heck this thing is, or as I was being stupid and playing on the sand dunes or whatever I was doing, I was just trying to make a point of enjoying myself, enjoying this time that I had on vacation to travel and see new things and experience things I never experienced before. So many people just rush through these kinds of places because, oh, they saw the pretty thing and they left. But I really wanted to just sit back and enjoy this quality time. Alright guys, I'll see you next time.